you know, it was real exciting when in 2004 in ESEA, the Elementary and Secondary Education Act was renewed and RTI, or response, to intervention, and response to Intervention, was part of IDEA, the Individuals with Disabilities of Education Act. RTI's response to intervention is not new. In fact, it's been used in institutional settings forever. And what it says is that there's too much discrepancy person by person to make an accountability of an instrument if you have not implemented it correctly. So what response to intervention does is it says, how are people responding to the intervention? Not measuring the intervention, we're measuring the, measuring the response to it. Well, think about this. You know, 15 years ago, when you first heard the terms HMO and PPO, uh, managed care. What managed care brought about was a medical model that says if you want something beyond basic, you know, well child type health care, you need to have an identified problem, a pathway for solution, and a measurable result. Well, fast forward now to education. It's basically an overlay of that medical type model, which is what RTI is, which says if you want to have services beyond general classroom, you need to identify the problem. You need to have a measurable solution and you need to be able to report the results. And you couple that in RTI, tier one, general classroom, that's your well child. We need preventative stuff occurring that keeps kids from decompensating or just not progressing as they should, tier one. Then we have our interventions and if you're intervening it means you're spending more money on it. How are you justifying it? How do you know you're doing what you're supposed to do? RTI actually produces a level of accountability but also a level of opportunity to address kids within their need areas and then report on that. That's a great thing if you're doing it correctly. Because what it says is that if I, because there are two sides to, to actually knowing if you're doing it correctly, if I implement a program with fidelity, and how do you measure fidelity? Well, here's how LEAPS does it. Who's been trained? How have they been trained? Upon that training, how many users are using LEAPS within a facility? So you look at saturation. How often are they logging into programming? So you look at access. What lessons are they downloading? So you look at purpose. Are they satisfied with lessons? All of that is measured automatically and it's reported back. So your fidelity of implementation is captured. Then you couple fidelity of implementation through the you know, progress that's achieved through the assessing process pre and post participation. So it actually will measure progress and then define your reporting lines. You choose a kid, a teacher, a class, a grade level, a school, a quadrant, uh, you know, a sub-district or the district itself. So you have fidelity of implementation and you have measurements of progress and every one of those is designed. Do I have a problem? Have I identified it? Do I have a measurable solution? And have I reported the results? That's response to intervention.